the law of one. Unabridged transcription. A contact between the L and L group and registered trademark and the social memory complex known as RAW. Session 36. I am RAW. I greet you in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. We communicate now. Questioner. In previous communications you have spoken of the mind-body-spirit complex totality. Would you please give us a definition of the mind-body-spirit complex totality? I am raw. There is a dimension in which time does not have sway. In this dimension, the mind-body-spirit in its eternal dance of the present may be seen in totality and before the mind-body-spirit complex which then becomes a part of the social memory complex is willingly absorbed into the allness of the one creator, the entity knows itself in its totality. This mind-body-spirit complex totality functions as, shall we say, a resource for what you perhaps would call the higher self. The higher self, in turn, is a resource for examining the distillations of third density experience and programming further experience. This is also true of densities 4, 5 and six with the mind-body-spirit complex totality coming into consciousness in the course of seventh density. Questioner, then would the mind-body-spirit complex totality be responsible for programming changes in catalyst during, say, a third density experience of a mind-body-spirit complex so that the proper catalyst would be added, shall we say, as conditions for that complex change during third density experience? Is this correct? I am raw. This is incorrect. The higher self, as you call it, that is, that self which exists with full understanding of the accumulation of experiences of the entity, aids the entity in achieving healing of the experiences which have not been learned properly and assists as you have indicated in further life experience programming, as you may call it. The mind-body-spirit complex totality is that which may be called upon by the higher self aspect just as the mind-body-spirit complex calls upon the higher self. In the one case you have a structured situation within the space-time continuum with the higher self having available to it the totality of experiences which have been collected by an entity and a very firm grasp of the lessons to be learned in this density. The mind-body-spirit complex totality is as the shifting sands and is in some part a collection of parallel developments of the same entity. This information is made available to the higher self aspect. This aspect may then use these projected probability possibility vortices in order to better aid in what you would call future life programming. Questioner, out of the Seth material we have a statement here, Seth says that each entity here on earth is one aspect or part of a higher self or overseer which has many aspects or parts in many dimensions all of which learn lessons which enable the higher self to progress in a balanced manner. Am I to understand from this, is it correct that there are, shall we say, possibly many experiences similar to the one that we experience here in the third density that are governed by a single higher self? Is this correct? I am raw. The correctness of this statement is variable. The more in balance an entity becomes, the less the possibility probability vortices may need to be explored in parallel experiences. Questioner, do I understand from this then that the higher self or overseer may break down into numerous units if the experience is required to what we would call simultaneously experience different types of catalyst and then oversee these experiences? I am raw. This is a statement we cannot say to be correct or incorrect due to the confusions of what you call time. True simultaneity is available only when all things are seen to be occurring at once. This overshadows the concept of which you speak. The concept of various parts of the being living experiences of varying natures simultaneously is not precisely accurate due to your understanding that this would indicate that this was occurring with true simultaneity. This is not the case. The case is from universe to universe, and parallel existences can then be programmed by the higher self. Given the information available from the mind-body-spirit complex totality regarding the probability-possibility vortices at any crux. Questioner, could you give an example of an entity, possibly one from our historical past, possibly any entity that you might choose if you don't wish to name one, and give an example of how this type of programming by the higher self would then bring about the education through parallel experiences please? I am raw. Perhaps the simplest example of this apparent simultaneity of existence of two selves, which are in truth one self at the same time space, is this, the oversoul, as you call it, or higher self, seems to exist simultaneously with the mind-body-spirit complex which it aids. This is not actually simultaneous, 
for the higher self is moving to the mind-body-spirit complex as needed from a position in development of the entity which would be considered in the future of this entity. Questioner, then the higher self operates from the future as we understand things. In other words my higher self would operate from what I consider to be my future? Is this correct? I am raw. From the standpoint of your space-time, this is correct. Questioner, in that case my higher self would, shall we say, have a very large advantage in knowing precisely what was needed since it would know what as far as I am concerned, what was going to happen. Is this correct? I am raw. This is incorrect, in that this would be an abrogation of free will. The higher self aspect is aware of the lessons learned through the sixth density. The progress rate is fairly well understood. The choices which must be made to achieve the higher self as it is are in the provenance of the mind-body-spirit complex itself. Thus the higher self is like the map in which the destination is known. The roads are very well known, these roads being designed by intelligent infinity working through intelligent energy. However, the higher self aspect can program only for the lessons and certain predisposing limitations if it wishes. The remainder is completely the free choice of each entity. There is the perfect balance between the known and the unknown. Questioner, I'm sorry for having so much trouble with these concepts, but they are pretty difficult to translate. I am sure, into our understanding and language. And some of my questions may be rather ridiculous, but does this higher self have a physical vehicle or some type of vehicle like our physical vehicle? Does it have a bodily complex? I am raw. This is correct. The higher self is of a certain advancement within sixth density going into the seventh. After the seventh has been well entered the mind-body-spirit complex becomes so totally a mind-body-spirit complex totality that it begins to gather spiritual mass and approach the octave density. Thus the looking backwards is finished at that point. Questioner, is the higher self of every entity of a sixth density nature? I am raw. This is correct. This is an honor duty of self to self as one approaches seventh density. Questioner, well, let. Let me be sure I understand this then. We have spoken of certain particular individuals. For instance, we were speaking of George Patton in a previous communication. Then his higher self at the time of his incarnation here as George Patton about 40 years ago. His higher self was at the time sixth density. Is this correct? I am raw. This is correct. We make note at this time that each entity has several beings upon which to call for inner support. Any of these may be taken by an entity to be the mind-body-spirit complex totality. However, this is not the case. The mind-body-spirit complex totality is a nebulous collection of all that may occur held in understanding. The higher self itself a projection or manifestation of mind-body-spirit complex totality which then may communicate with the mind-body-spirit during the discarnate part of a cycle of rebirth or, during the incarnation may communicate at the proper pathways or channels through the roots of mind or opened. Questioner, these channels would then be opened by meditation and I am assuming that intense polarization would help in this. Is this correct? I am raw. This is partially correct. Intense polarization does not necessarily develop. In the mind-body-spirit complex, the will or need to contact the Obasu. Each path of life experience is unique. However, given the polarization, the will is greatly enhanced and vice versa. Questioner, let me take as an example the one you said was called Himla. We are assuming from this that his higher self was of sixth density and it was stated that Himla had selected the negative path. Would his higher self then dwell in a sixth density negative type of situation? Could you expand on this concept? I am raw. There are no negative beings which have attained the overseal manifestation which is the honor duty of the mind-body-spirit complex totality of late sixth density, as you would term it in your time measurements. These negatively oriented mind-body-spirit complexes have a difficulty which to our knowledge has never been overcome, for after fifth density graduation wisdom is available but must be matched with an equal amount of love. This love light is very, very difficult to achieve in unity when following the negative path and during the earlier part of the sixth density, Society complexes of the negative orientation will choose to release the potential and leap into the sixth density positive. Therefore, the oversoul which makes its understanding available to all who are ready for such aid is towards the positive. However, the free will of the individual is paramount, and any guidance given by the higher self may be seen in either the positive or negative polarity depending upon the choice of a mind-body-spirit complex. Questioner, then using Himmler as an example, was his higher self at the time he was incarnate in the 1940s a sixth density positively oriented higher self? I am raw. This is correct. Questioner, 
was Himmler in any way in contact with his higher self at that time while he was incarnate in the 1940s? I am raw. We remind you that the negative path is one of separation. What is the first separation? The self from the self. The one known as Himmler did not choose to use its abilities of will and polarization to seek guidance from any source but its conscious drives self-chosen in the life experience and nourished by previous biases created in other life experiences. Questioner, well, then let's say that when Himmler, for instance, reaches sixth density negative at the beginnings of sixth density negative, at this time would it be the case that an entity would realize that his higher self is sixth density positively oriented and for that reason make the jump from negative to positive orientation. I am raw. This is incorrect. The sixth density negative entity is extremely wise. It observes the spiritual entropy occurring due to the lack of ability to express the unity of sixth density. Thus, loving the creator and realizing at some point that the creator is not only self but other self as self. This entity consciously chooses an instantaneous energy reorientation so that it may continue its evolution. Questioner, then the sixth density entity who has reached that point in positive orientation may choose to become what we call a wanderer and move back. I am wondering if this ever occurs with a negatively oriented sixth density entity. Do any move back as wanderers? I am raw. Once the negatively polarized entity has reached a certain point in the wisdom density it becomes extremely unlikely that it will choose to risk the forget for this polarization is not selfless but selfish and with wisdom realizes the jeopardy of such wandering. Occasionally a sixth density negative entity becomes a wanderer in an effort to continue to polarize towards the negative. This is extremely unusual. Questioner, then what is the motivation for the... Oh, let me finish that question first. What is the motif, what is the mechanism that this unusual sixth density entity would wish to gain to polarize more negatively through wandering? I am raw. The wanderer has the potential of greatly accelerating the density once it comes in its progress in evolution. This is due to the intensive life experience experiences and opportunities of the third density. Thusly the positively oriented wanderer chooses to hazard the danger of the forgetting in order to be of service to others by radiating love of others. If the forgetting is penetrated the amount of catalyst in third density will polarize the wanderer with much greater efficiency than shall be expected in the higher and more harmonious densities. Similarly, the negatively oriented wanderer dares to hazard the forgetting in order that it might accelerate its progress in evolution in its own density by serving itself in third density by offering to other selves the opportunity to hear the information having to do with negative polarization. Questioner, are there any examples of sixth density negatively polarized wanderers in our historical past? I am raw. This information could be harmful. We withhold it. Please attempt to view the entities about you as part of the creator. We can explain no further. Questioner, thank you. I was wondering if qualification for contact with raw might include of a type we're doing now might include penetrating this forgetting process. Is this correct? I am raw. This is quite correct. Questioner, otherwise the law of confusion would prohibit this. Is this correct? This is correct. Questioner, I was also wondering if three was the minimum number necessary for this type of working. Is this correct? I am raw. For protection of this instrument this is necessary as the minimum grouping and also as the most efficient number due to the exceptional harmony in this group. In other groups the number could be larger, but we have observed in this contact that the most efficient support is given by the individual mind-body spirits present at this time. Questioner, I'm a little fuzzy on a point with respect to the higher self. Now we each, I am assuming, have a separate or different higher self at sixth density positive level. Is this correct? Each of us in the room that is, here, the three of us. I am raw. This shall be the last full question of this working. We shall attempt to aim for the intention of your query as we understand it. Please request any additional information. Firstly, it is correct that each in this dwelling place has one over soul, as you may call it. However, Due to the repeated harmonious interactions of this triad of entities there may be seen to be a further harmonious interaction besides the three entities' higher selves. That is, each social memory complex has an oversoul of a type which is difficult to describe to you in words. In this group there are two such social memory complex totalities blending their efforts with your higher selves at this time. Questioner, it is very difficult at times for us to even get a small percentage of understanding from some of these concepts because of our limitation of awareness here. I think some meditation on the communication today will help us in formulating questions about these concepts. I am raw. May we ask for any brief questions? 
queries before we leave this instrument? Questioner, I'll just ask one little short one that you may not be able to answer before the final. The short one is, can you tell me what percentage of the wanderers on Earth today have been successful in penetrating the memory block and becoming aware who they are? And then finally, is there anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or improve the contact? I am raw. We can approximate the percentage of those penetrating intelligently their status. This is between 8 and 1 half and 9 and 3 quarters percent. There is a larger percentile group of those who have a fairly well-defined, shall we say, symptomology indicating to them that they are not of this, shall we say, insanity. This amounts to a bit over 50% of the remainder. Nearly one third of the remainder are aware that something about them is different, so you see there are many gradations of awakening to the knowledge of being a wanderer. You may add that it is to the middle and first of these groups that this information will, shall we say, make sense. This instrument is well. The resting place is somewhat deleterious in its effect upon the comfort of the dorsal side of this instrument's physical vehicle. We have mentioned this before. You are conscientious. We leave you now. My friends, I am raw. I leave you in the love and in the light of the infinite creator. Go forth, then, rejoicing merrily in the power and the peace of the one creator. Adonai. And of session 36.